TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded August 15th, 2020, in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff, Curtis Keller, for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature one traffic stop one welfare check, and a home alarm check. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. the size of that registration. Okay, thank you. Hey, 
Is it 10-4-29-75 negative? Affirmative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Affirmative. Come on, 53, Berkeley, 10 at Chris Albert Warren. Affirmative. So that guy wasn't bad. He was straight up. He had a good attitude. He was honest with me. So somebody like that I'm going to work with. He was going to give me a total attitude the whole time. He's pretty much going to be asking for a citation at that point. So. Had his driving been worse, it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. But right. He was a good dude about the whole thing. So. I see people kind of riding that center line a lot. Anyway. Yeah. Um, 54 birthday just for Thank you. It's easy to get people for, for say, traffic lights or... Uh, Center line or the fog line. Talk about scam calls. I had one recently. Guys, like, it was from out of the country, like Trans India. Country. And they're like, hey, make a million. I'm like, yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> they might be raking in millions. I wouldn't be. I used to get calls from Ghana, Africa all the time. It was like, why would I even answer this? <laughs> I would, I'd be so oh, tempted to, guys. Yes. <laughs> just, just, to, just, just to see, just to see where it would go initially. Like, like yeah. what, what, how, how good is their accurate video? <laughs> well, I was talking to somebody. They were telling me like uh, when they when email was still kind, I guess still kind of new. And you should be like, hey, I'm the, I'm a prince in this such and such country. You know, we have too much money. Send us money, and we'll send you money, kind of thing. Well, the English would be so bad, but apparently that was on purpose. Because if you've got it together enough to catch that, obviously you won't fall for it. So they don't want you. But, I mean, that's what I heard. Who knows? Yeah, you hear about that all the time. The, the Nigerian prince scam. Yeah. But then again, some of them are a little more complex. I had to talk to a lady the other day. She didn't fall for it. But the dude said he was from the FBI. He mentioned the uh, Department of Treasury and another agency about all the trouble she was in. And then he told her when he, she gets off the phone to take her phone and leave it off the hook until she got a call back or until like a certain amount of time or some nonsense like that. And she's like, yeah, no. And then they were trying to get her to put money on cards. That's weird. Yeah. So the one thing I didn't expect of this job was having to herd cows. <laughs> some dude's gate. Either the cows knocked it over and he didn't secure it, something. So there's like, oh my God, there was like 20, 30 cows, I swear. And I'm like, I'm from New Jersey. I don't know anything about cows. So I'm just kind of standing there like an idiot and I saw what the owner was doing, so I just mimicked that and got him back in. So of course one cow, there's like a bunch of round bales in like a C shape, the way they were stacked. And I was like, there's a cow in there, my FTO, my former FTO goes to me, goes, go in there. Okay, I really don't know what the hell I'm gonna do if this thing comes at me, but we're gonna make this work. And I think it was more, it was more concerned about getting out of there than it was about me, so I think it just went charging past me. The kicker was the homeowner who's, who lived next door to all the cows all over his property. It's dark out. He has his house lights on, but his yard's still like pitch black. I got my hand held, and I'm telling him, like, you're about to step on a cow pie. A minute later, you're about to step on another cow. And the guy's just walking around in flip-flops. I mean, like, we had the cows. He wasn't really doing anything. I didn't think he really needed to be out there, but... I guess he wanted to make sure they were gone, so... I love it when you go places where they don't expect to see you. And they just have this bug eye look. Like, what did I do?
take some? No. I can't hear it. No? What's going on? You're like falling asleep over here sitting up. You got any ID on you? No? Where's your ID through? What? It's through DC? Tennessee. Tennessee? Okay. Birthday. I got a Tennessee 27 from name Beach. So what's going on? What brings you over here today? Um, usually I come in here, I get a snack or something. And I was on charger phone, but I'm on my are you, charger. Are you transient? Huh? Almost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, no, my phone was my phone in the bit, so I'm trying to drink. So. I mean, look, you're, look, you're just sitting on the side here. You're not in any trouble, okay? All right, they're just concerned about you. I mean, you were passed out sitting on the crate. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for her to come out. Sorry? I'm just waiting for my friend to come out. Okay, you don't have any weapons on you or anything, do you? No knives or anything like that? Nothing legal? Okay. No, no. You want to get checked out by medics? No, I'm good. Too. You sure? I'm just tired. Okay. Well, I mean, we already had we already, they already um, called us out here because they're concerned about you. So, if your stuff comes if your stuff comes back clean, you're gonna be good to walk out of here. Huh? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Well, once they give me your info back, okay, you just if you stay here, people are probably gonna keep calling because they're gonna be worried about you. Uh, so. I don't know. She should be coming out. She just went in. Yeah, she went in. I figured I'd charge my phone, but I don't Are you here from Tennessee? Well, I'm from here. You're right, okay. Yeah, um, I went to rehab like two or three years ago, and when I got out, I went to my dad's in Tennessee. Instead of coming right here, I just should have stayed there with this block. What were you using? What um, do you use? Whatever. Really? Yeah, whatever uh, I can get on. Okay. So you're familiar with this area? Yeah, do you have a do you have a place tonight? Oh, they got a dog.
they got a Maryland coming in for it. Nine, Charlie, Tom, X-ray two one nine zero. Go ahead and run it, Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this my sister. Oh, she said your sister lives yeah, next door? Yeah. Okay. So they're aware of it. They're aware of Rogers right now. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay. Where's she from? Where's she from? Yeah. What you mean? Like, because I see the, I got a West Virginia tag and the Maryland tag, so. Oh, I don't know about all that. You don't know whose car that is? No. Okay. What's your name, sir? Thomas. Thomas, what's yeah. the last name? I got, no, it's just, big, all right, here's what it is. The alarm went off, okay? Yeah. You said they know about it. Yeah, she's right here. Okay, can I talk to her if you don't mind? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, hey, this is Deputy Dunning with the Sheriff's Department. So I guess your alarm went off? Okay, so your, your brother lives next to you? Oh, okay. Well, that's handy. All right. Well, you have a good day. Okay. Hey, is this your is this your Buick out here? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure because it's got a Maryland tag. Oh man, what happened to it? Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hand the phone back. Okay. I said, it was, I'm sorry, Thomas or? Thomas. Oh. All right, you have a good one, man. Right. I think I made the dog a little upset. <laughs> just start bringing towels on this. Yeah, seriously. Good. All right, I spoke to a neighbor who's a relative, Greg. Right? All right, they're they're aware of the alarm. They've been having issues with the alarm. I said the battery's gone. I'll be clear, I need an airport. Oh no, I'm just saying this is a little fast. Oh, okay. I just check it out every occasion. Pull up through Rami, I didn't hear it. 